you tell us a little bit about today, what, what's happening to get ready for today's test? Uh, maybe what's happening behind the scenes in the test control center, or um, maybe even what time you all got started today? Yeah, well, test day usually starts about 6 a.m. Uh, there's hundreds of instruments that are uh, we're going to be looking at for today's test. Uh, pressures and temperatures, speed probes, strain gauges. Um, so we want to verify that all that instrumentation is working properly before we even get started into test day. And so after all the electrical engineers and technicians have checked out all this key data system, um, the test conductor will call the group together and uh, have a pre-test briefing in the morning. He'll go over the test procedure, any special operations. It gives a chance to verify all uh, open constraints or closed before test and gives a chance for anybody to speak up if they have any reasons not to go into test. So shortly after that, the team of technicians and engineers will dispatch. They'll go out to the test facility and get the test stand ready, start to regulate gas pressures that we'll need to support the test. Some folks will go out to the barge docks and get the propellant barges ready in case we need to transfer fuel. Another team will go to the test control center and they'll start to set up the data and control systems. Um, one of the things that we do after we get the, loaded, the, the new software loaded onto the engine computer uh, is to power on the engine and go through a series of purge sequences. The reason we do that is because we don't want to have any moisture inside that engine. Remember, these propellants are really, really cold and we don't want anything to turn into ice or solid in there. So we purge the hydrogen system very well with gaseous helium because that's the only gas we have that won't turn into a solid at that cold of a temperature. And we purge out the liquid oxygen system with nitrogen. And uh, once all now, that's how many done, purge sequences do you go through before a test? Uh, there's three or four purge cycles mm -hmm. that we usually run through. Um, after that, we've got the engine preconditioned. It's ready to, uh, to to have some liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen drop down. So we drain some of the propellants out of the tanks. We open up the facility valves, and we begin to chill the engine down. It takes a couple of hours to get all that metal cold. We've got to get liquid temperatures in that engine. So we do a slow, methodical process. We start with liquid oxygen. Once the temperatures are stable, we'll send the technicians out, do some inspections, make sure everything's working good on the engine, and we repeat that process with the liquid hydrogen system. Um, after that, uh, you know, really, we uh, bring up the water pressure, do some final checks, and send the, the test crew uh, back to the, uh, to the test control center at a safe distance. Um, deflector water pressure is uh, increased, the exit ignite torches are activated, and um, when we get closer inside the one minute, maybe where we're at now, um, the test conductor is doing a final polling of the management team and the test team uh, to verify that everybody's a go for test. We have limited time on our uh, super high speed video recording systems and data recording systems, so those are usually the last two systems that are turned on. Um, so if all the conditions are met, the test conductor will have what's called a prep complete indication on the screen. And at that point in time, he can initiate the auto sequence start and begin the test. So there's actually a button you push. Is, yes. it, a, is it a red button? Well, there's a, no, it's like a, <laughs> it's a green button. Okay. We, there's a red button, but that's in case there's an emergency okay. shutdown and we don't ever want to hit the red button. Absolutely. Well, uh, we're kind of in standby right now, waiting for the one minute notification for the RS-25 test. Today's test will be 535 seconds. sounds like we did get the one minute notification. So Gary, maybe what, what happened just right now in this, uh, this time, right here before the test? Well, yes, they uh, are probably just finishing that uh, bleed sequence. Like we said earlier, um, we've got to get those inlet temperatures and pressures just right. So they're probably fine tuning the, the, the control valves to make sure we've got the right temperatures, uh, conditions at the engine inlet and inside the engine, and also getting the tank pressure set.
standing by for the RS-25 engine test here at Stennis Space Center. Sounds like auto sequence has started.